Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to all my lovely existing viewers and to all my new viewers and especially my new subscribers a big big welcome. This week as you can see it's a slightly different look. It's steampunk that I'm playing with and I'm using quite a few of the Velvet Hexagon products that I introduced you to over the last couple of weeks. I'm using Juvia's Place. I'm using basically not much more than that. I've got a few gems, which as per usual are just cheap Amazon gems and a bit of inspiration from my friend Debbie. So now's your chance to like the video because I'm sure you will. Also, if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching regularly, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and it would really help the channel. And if any of you would like to buy me a Kofi and help me basically support the channel, buy all the things that I use on the channel, really because I don't get any advertising um, revenue, that's where I get my money from to keep the channel going. I've got a Kofi page, which I will link in the description. You can always go there and buy me a Kofi for as little as three great British pounds. Uh, Black Americano, please. Anyway, um, let's stop our... Um, I nearly said a word beginning with A. Let's stop fannying around and get right into the tutorial. Well, you might think, why have you done all your makeup already? Where's the tutorial coming in? Well, this is the start. Um, basically, this is um, using just a few things, also from the Velvet Hexagon from the last couple of weeks videos. If you haven't seen them, I will link them. I used the black and I took some of the Hellfire and some of the Blessed. Now these are two completely different colours. There you can see them. And I mixed them up um, just in a little tray and made a really sort of interesting bronzy goldy colour and then used them individually around the edges just to get this sort of um, coppery, goldy, hopefully steampunk inspired colour story. And I also used, where is it? Here it is, the lipstick, which is in the shade 1940, which I think you'll agree is perfect for this look. So having done all that, oh, and I used some lashes which were given to me by my lovely friend Rock and Roll Rebel, who you'll know from in the comments section. And she gave me two pairs of, you can't see them in the boxes because I'm wearing them, above and below. They're by Tish and Snooky's Manic Panic NYC. And these are vintage... One is called Ultra Glam and one is called Little Black Widow. And these are actual vintage lashes that um, Jet gave to me. So I'm wearing those mainly because the top lashes have a sort of um, cog like finish on them. I don't know if you can see that. You might be able to. And I just thought the bottom lashes made quite an impact as well. Anyway, less arsing about, more getting on with it. So what I've got is um, a little bag of cogs and wheels that I got from Amazon when I thought I was going to be able to use them for crafting. And it turned out that I never actually got round to it, of course. So they have proved to be rather marvellous for makeup. And I'm using my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette for this. And I will show you the colours. Are they not perfect? Are they not gorgeous for this look? And what I'm going to be doing is, with some reasonably fluffy brushes, I'm going to use the paler colours first. I'm going to hold 
the cogs up to my face and I'm just going to rub over them like so. And once I've done this, it's like a stencil. And hey presto, you have a lovely cog shape. So I'm going to carry on with some of the darker colours because I've already got some blush and some oh what's the word highlight on and it's going to take a little bit of color there we go see that's nice to show up against these and then I'll choose a different one which one shall I have let's choose this one and use a really dark over here these are great aren't they and I'm just going to carry on doing this for a little while and then we'll go over the other side and um, I'll show you what I discovered was a great thing to do. So stand by while I just do a few more of these. there so doesn't that look fun and I used a little hand which came in the bag of cogs I will link the bag of cogs so in case you want to have a go you can oh that is so fun isn't it anyway so on the other side on this side um, I want to do something slightly more dramatic so I'm using it's just a little um, makeup revolution tray that I mix things in and I'm just using it to get an idea of a semicircle almost by pressing it into my skin like so and it just gives me a vague idea of where I want to be and I'm taking the shade Blessed again from Velvet Hexagon, but this time it's in the watercolour liner. So I'm giving it a good old shake. And I have somewhere on the table, here it is, a little brush. And I'm just going to try and go round. Oof. Now you're watching, I can't do it. I might have to do this again. There we go. Yeah, just get a rough, a rough semicircle going. And you'll see what I'm going to do in a second. These are beautiful, these colours. I messaged Brian the other day and um, he told me that quite a few of you have been over and treated yourself to a few things off his website. So I'm really glad I was be able to share some of his lovely products with you. So then I'm going to do this. And of course, as you realise, it's not the sun, it's a clock. There we have that. And then let's just, let's put the lid on, shall we? Because otherwise we know exactly what's going to happen. It's going to fall on the floor and ruin the laminate and I will be in the doghouse. So... Let me just find my other brush. Here we are. And I'm going to get the black. And as you can hear, there is a little um, ball bearing in there. 
which obviously I missed when I was testing and swatching the blue last time. So we're going to get the black and this time, mm, 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 what am I going to use? I'm just going to use the end of this glue packet just to make a, a mark. I don't know if this works with young skin. Let me know if it does. It certainly works with old skin. And I'm gonna... Oh, look at that, almost a straight line. And on my phone, I've got a design that I wanted to, there it is, I wanted to draw. So it's gonna come all the way up there and all the way down here. See, if I can get it to go in a straight line. No, I've already boggered that up. Hang on. There, see, if we go like that. And then go... Like this. See? Straight line. Um, I can draw it on. I haven't got the steadiest hand in the world, as you know, but that's why I'm just putting some curly things on this. Oh, that's nice. I might go up here actually and do a few of these like this. Now I'm going to ruin it, of course, but um, anywho, let me just, yep. So then this goes like this. Then it goes like this. So it's almost like a heart. And then... I'm going to have to put the magnifying mirror on again because I can't see it. Yeah, I thought I hadn't filled it in. It's so difficult to try and get a point. There we go, having a go. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, I, um, I never really thought I'd be able to pull off any of this steampunk look because it is quite, well, it's not anything I'm very familiar with. But I watched Debbie's the other day. You remember Debbie, my friend Debbie, from the Vinyl Beauty channel. And she did a steampunk look. And I thought, well, it actually looks really quite fun. I'd like to have a bash at that. And they're colours that I don't usually use, obviously. I'm just shaking up the colour called Valentine now. Yeah, so I don't usually use these colours. And um, I thought it would be fun to have a go see what you think maybe give you some ideas of things you could do so I'm getting the color Valentine which is really going to clash with everything else in the look but I think it'll be fine because it's sort of like a focal point <gasps> you really do have to hold your breath doing these things and I just hope you can see it can you see that? Yes, you can. We do the other side. There, that's nice, isn't it? And then I think what you could do, <laughs> get my gold brush again, give it another shake up. What you could do, is um, first of all go over these black bits that I've really made it look awful with and um, over here you could go round some of the um, cog parts maybe just go in the middle down there you see or here 
just to give it a little bit more something. I do love this gold colour, it really is. Like working with gold paint, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, what do you think? I really like that. Yeah, let's put a bit more. You know me, more is more. Let's put a bit more here. Oh yes, I'm enjoying this. I do hope you are having as much fun as I am. I've been um, learning how to do more crafting, you see, of late. And um, this is why I think I've wanted to do a bit more of this sort of thing. Because learning to actually do things with paint and paper and different sorts of mediums is really tremendous fun and the first couple of times I mean you don't get it to come out exactly how you want but you don't with makeup either do you it's all practice it's all about having a go and um, seeing what you come up with I mean I always look at these things that people do and think oh I could have a go at that and you know nine times out of a hundred of course I couldn't do it it's like the jewellery um, I think oh I could do that and of course half the time I can't do that because I haven't had the experience I haven't had the teaching I don't know what to do with this stuff so I just buy a few bits and bobs and you know have a go throw myself into it and um see if it comes out all right so actually let's let's have a bit more gold over here and then what i'm going to do is See, I brought all these things over to my table to see whether I'd be able to have a go at various things and whether they would work and whether they wouldn't. And I've got a few extra bits and bobs here just to play with. And um, I've got some gems. Of course, I've got some gems. So I think I will stick some gems on here. So we want five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to use um, eyelash glue, only because I'm coming to the end of this particular tube. Um, normally I wouldn't, because it is quite expensive. Normally I wouldn't um, whoop, waste eyelash glue on this. I would use facial glue, but this is coming to an end and we want to go one two, three, four, five, get on there, five, like so, wipe that off on the old tea towel, get the other end of the picky up stick and see if we can get them to stick. Ta-da! What do you think? I really like it. I really like it a lot. When I was practicing doing this, um, I put a whole load down my nose and in the middle, but I don't think it actually worked that well, to be fair. But um, I hadn't done as much gold on this side either, so that's turned out really a lot better than I expected. Hmm... Yes, I really like that. So that is my steampunk face. And I'll just put my hat on that I have prepared earlier and come back and we'll finish up. So this is the finished look. This is the hat. I'm sure some of you remember when I bought this hat, which feels like a thousand years ago. But um, I've just put a few bits and bobs on it just just for this um, video because I just haven't had time to do a proper 
um, makeover on it. So I've put a veil on it with flowers and a few of my homemade brooches and things on it. So steampunk, a great literary genre, um, which has then turned into a cosplay genre and also makeup. And it's sort of, if you look at um, pictures of the Whitby Goth Festival, there's tons of people dressed up in steampunk goth crossovers. So I don't think it's totally inappropriate for my channel. And of course, it is great fun. Um, and that's what it's all about. Makeup is fun. Clothes are fun. And I hope you had fun watching this video. I hope you have fun whatever it is you're doing, wherever you are in the world. I hope I've inspired you to maybe have a little go with something, anything, even if all you do is just stick a couple of gems on your face one day or hide one amidst your lashes when you go to work. I used to do that, just put one in the corner there and hardly anyone will notice, I promise, but you'll know it's there and that's what really matters. Anywho, um, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget you can share these videos. Um, there's like a little arrow so that you can share it with your friends. Um, and I think this is so much fun. You may in fact want to do so. Um, I hope that if you haven't used my coupon code, which is um, Stay Strange for the Velvet Hexagon makeup, both on the website and on the Etsy page, you can pop over and do that and that will save you a you know, sizable chunk. And I'll link everything in the description. Do please look after the world where you are. Look after all the living creatures that have no voice of their own. And don't forget everybody, as if I needed to tell you, don't forget, stay strange. See you next time.